We're graduating this year, but before we leave this place for good, we're checking out some of the best food spots in the area. I'm Jonah. And I'm Shannon. And this is Grub Before Grad. Then we go trespass. So we made it to Early Bird, the second entry on our brunch brawl. And after the very strong showing from Lester D's, it's gonna take a whole lot for Early Bird to take the spot of best brunch in St. Cat, this is Thorold, but best brunch in the Niagara region. Girl, you don't know, nah. What you do to me when I see that crinkle on your nose I wonder if you fluently just do you Like you do so effortlessly I want you right next to me I want you to be my, be my, my green tea in the morning Be my, my sugar honey You're just so great I wonder, girl, I wonder why you love me It's so lovely, can't complain one day I'll give you my name if you're down, if you're down, be my green All right, since people already know how you feel about breakfast and brunch foods, I just pulled up a list from ChatGPT with different breakfast options that you will now be picking between. So, pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Bacon or sausage? Sausage. Scrambled eggs or sunny side up? Scrambled eggs. French toast or crepes? Ooh, for sweet French toast, but for savory crepes. Bagel or croissant? Ooh, that's a good one too. Oh, bagel for like easy things, but croissant for like whole sandwiches. Hash browns or home fries? Oh my gosh, I'm probably like hash browns, but like like the potato patties, those mm. hash browns over home fries. Oatmeal or cereal? Probably oatmeal. Avocado toast or just toast? Avocado toast. <laughs> smoothie or milkshake? No, I think I'm more on the side of smoothies. Muffins or donuts? Muffins. I don't like donuts for yeah. breakfast. I think they're a little too sweet at that, at that time of day. All right, thank you for that. I said, now here we go again. Another verse about how you got me feeling it. I'm feeling very many different types of ways. I just gotta say. That's really good. I feel like this is like, this is like rise above shit. Yes, I got a flow that can make us go and float. 30,000, we won't ever hit below. You a queen. Yep, it's vanilla. <laughs> and baby, you got me. Tell me how you feeling. Just keep it real. And promise we'll find peace. Your smile, it got me. Got me lost like your eyes. Baby, Guys, I've never had this before. Please don't say anything. Be my green tea in the morning. Be my, my sugar, honey. You're just so great. I wonder. Mm, that's really good. You love me. It's so lovely. Can't complain. One day I'll give you my name if you're down. If you're down. Be my green tea in the morning. Be my. That's a good sausage, yeah. Wow. You're just so great, I wonder, girl, I wonder. Mm, good flavor. So lovely, can't complain. One day I'll give you more. Good flavor on that, too. Yeah, that's egg. That's definitely egg. They season their meats well. It's toast. All right, we're back again for another round oh, of ratings. Crazy. And this time it's a little bit special because we're directly comparing Early Bird to Lester D's. So here we go. Let's start with food. My food was pretty good. I got eggs, bunnies, eggs with female bacon. It was really yummy. The hollandaise sauce was really good. Came with home fries and like a little bowl of fruit. It did come with cantaloupe, blueberries, banana, strawberries, grape, and a little bit of honeydew. The home fries I thought were okay. I think they could have been salted a little bit more. The English muffin under it was good. Buttered very well. It's very crunchy, very crispy. It's very nice. Uh, the pima bacon is obviously really good. I got them to make my egg poached hard because I don't like runny yolk. I think it's, it's I, I can't, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I got the early bird special which was two eggs, bacon, ham, sausage, home fries, and toast. Yep. So besides the French toast being swapped out for ham, most of it was the same. So let's go through it one at a time like last time. Starting with the sausage, I think it was insanely well seasoned, but it's really good. the texture wasn't as good as Lester D's. I would probably say 4.5. Bacon, better taste, 
worse texture, 4.5. Home fries, once again, better flavor, way worse texture. They weren't as uniformly cut, therefore you had a lot of bigger pieces that were very dense and hard to yeah. get through, whereas the small ones were crispy and great. I didn't like having that discrepancy between like the really potato-y ones and then the really like crispy ones. Definitely not as good as Lesser D's. I would give it three and a half. Toast, I think it was better, but it's also toast. It was buttered more uniformly, spread throughout the whole thing. It was just a clean piece of toast, you know? Like I'll give it a 3.5. Ham, I can't really compare it, but it, it was definitely ham. Was it a crazy? ham like I, I don't know ham I think it was ham. pretty good though and it was seasoned well once again seems yeah. to be a pretty common element here I will give it a four as well oh and the eggs right the eggs came out completely unseasoned and I don't know if it's because they give us salt and pepper so I can determine how much salt I want on the egg and if that's the case keeping that as like an assumption I would give it like a three because it's a fairly standard egg as for the milkshake I got the vanilla one and it was nice it was a thick milkshake you got the texture right and it's really hard for me to compare that to Lester D milkshake because it seems like they specialize really hard into the milkshakes as opposed to uh, early bird just kind of having it as an option. Vanilla is naturally just not going to be as cool as butter beer, but for what it was, it was good. I'll give it a four. Also the sheer volume. Definitely more than uh, Lester D's by it was easily, about half. Easily doubled. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like double? I would say that that was double. We got yeah, I think double. So like double for less. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of like, what do you want, right? Yeah. Do you Premium want a flavor specialized or, or do you just want yeah. more milkshake? Yeah. So overall for food, it was pretty solid. What it does have an edge over Lesser D's in is price. Like mine was a full $5 cheaper for very little differences. Like I lost one egg and switched the French toast for ham and got a little bit less potatoes, but that's $5 off of it. So I yeah. mean, pretty good overall. It's tough. We're gonna have to get back to that later. Don't As for me. service. Service, I definitely give it like four and a half. She seemed really nice. She was also like really interested in what we were doing. She had good recommendations because the Hollandaise is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, or like my eggs run is really good. For service, I more or less agree. I would give it like a four, four and a half as well. Yeah. Because I think that she was kind as Shannon said and also like the service was quick. Food came out fast. She was very on point with like really quick with the recommendations. Yeah. Always asking if you need anything. No need to rush, you know, take your time. Yeah. I'll just be over here if you want to like check out and stuff. I, I like those kinds of gestures. So yeah, four and a half sounds pretty solid. Also, she gave me a sticker on the receipt. Oh yeah, and that's, bonus. that's a bonus point because I love stickers. So now for atmosphere. I think the atmosphere is four and a half. Jonah was not very apprehensive of the tables because they, I don't even know how to describe it. It was like focused fruit and vegetables. The entire table was just covered and it was like you needed 3D glasses to see them because okay. they were not in focus. <laughs> so I think it brings like a charm to it. <laughs> They're just like, we don't take ourselves too seriously, you know, we're just, we just here to serve food. I think in a breakfast bar, you can get away with it because I think there's a lot of corny, tacky stuff at breakfast places that are like Fair. that. They had pillars where they had like things wrapped around it. They had like framed sayings. It was like, after all, to make an omelet, you got to break an egg. They also the light fixtures with the fruits on it. Like there's like corny stuff like that, like all around it. So I think you got you get to play into it. As far as interior goes, I think it was pretty solid. Like it was a nice cozy space, not a big place, but I like the way things were arranged. I like the walls, like the coloring was really nice, very indicative of a breakfast place. Yeah, you know how I feel about the tables, it's not it. But like besides that, it was a nice space. I'm not Chickens. giving it a four and a half, but you know, I think a solid four is okay. It's a cool place. It's cool, but it's not Lester D cool. So now onto the final thoughts, which is basically which one did we think was better? And it's a pretty complicated answer. <laughs> if we're speaking off of my food particularly, Lester D nailed more textures, but Early Bird nailed more of the flavor that I it was more seasoned throughout. Like all of them were very solid in the flavor profiles. I don't know. Like what would you say for food? I don't know either because I feel like I just got like the popular items. Mm -hmm. I just got a breakfast poutine and then I got eggs benedict. There's not a lot of overlap other than hollandaise and potatoes kind of. Which one do you um, vibe with more? <laughs> in terms of vibe, I think less D's I vibe with more. I think I like the early bird milkshake more. I said I was indecisive about this, but I think it comes down to two things, right? Like if you want volume, pretty sure Lester D's Yeah, I go to Lester D's for sure. But if you want cost efficiency, yeah. Yeah. But then you need to go to early bird for that. Yeah. Milkshake, I would give it to Lester D mostly just because they specialized in it. Service, essentially the same. We only gave a 
drive to Lester D just because you could tell he was a bit more invested in getting to know us and stuff and even like willing to follow the channel. But it doesn't mean that early bird was bad service at all. As for atmosphere, Lester D's is just a nicer aesthetic in my opinion, but like they're different places. One's yeah. technically a diner, the other one's technically a breakfast place. At the end of the day, while they serve similar food, they appeal to vastly different audiences. Early bird is somewhere that you could go like every day. And then if you want to like celebrate with like a breakfast lunch thing, then you should definitely go to Lester D's. Mm -hmm. Overall, both of them great places. And so the winner of our brunch brawl is Everyone. whoever you decide, you decide. Yeah. Unlucky, that's, that's all we got. So yeah. with that being said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you at our next meal.